Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to inspect your valve retainers for cracks. Intake valve retainers typically crack on AP1 Honda S2000s that have been mechanically over revved. If the valve retainer cracks are not discovered soon enough, it is possible for the intake valves to drop and ruin your motor. This is an AP1 valve retainer. As you can see, it is in good condition and there are no cracks. When the valve retainers do crack, they end up cracking on the underside right here. Now here is what your valve retainers look like with the keepers installed. When the valve retainers are not cracked, the keeper should almost be level with the top of the retainers. When the valve retainers crack on the underside, the circumference of the opening increases slightly, thus allowing the keepers to slide down. At this point you'll notice they're not level with the top of the retainers and you can actually see the inner walls of the retainer. This is a telltale sign of a cracked retainer and this is what you want to be looking for when you're doing your inspection. The first thing you want to do is remove the cylinder head cover. For more information on how to do this, please see the DIY video I made. Next, remove the fuel rail cover by removing the two 10mm acorn nuts holding it to the fuel rail. Unclip the injector wiring harness from the fuel rail to give you some more room. Use a dental mirror and a light source to inspect the relationship between the valve retainers and the keepers. Start off with cylinder 1 and carefully work your way to cylinder 4. It may even help to take some pictures with your cell phone so that you can compare your retainers with pictures found online later. When you're finished with your inspection, clip the injector wiring harness to the fuel rail. Replace the fuel rail cover by installing the two 10mm acorn nuts holding it to the fuel rail. Reinstall the cylinder head cover. For more information on how to do this, please see the DIY video I made. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have an idea for a future DIY video you'd like to see, please share it in the comments.